welcome back. Today I am doing my turkey stock bone broth combination. Um, this is just going to be the recipe. I'm not going to show canning it, even though that is what I am planning on doing. Just because I have other canning videos out there, I will link them above. Uh, this is just to show that beautiful, beautiful stock that I had done a couple videos ago, or yeah, a couple videos ago, where I canned um, turkey meat, leftover turkey meat. So this goes right along with it. So if you're having um, turkey for Christmas, which is coming up next week, um, or whatever, you could use the carcass for this recipe. Um, I would, however, add more of my secret ingredient that I will show you in a second, just to make it a richer flavor. Because that that's my main thing. With all my broths, you're going to see that they are dark, they are rich, they are beautiful. And that's because while I want all the attributes of a bone broth, I want the flavor of a stock. So whenever I do bone broth, I make it a stock. So it's both. I don't want to have to add flavor to my broth, which is what you have to do, in my opinion, to the store-bought stocks and bone broth. So, enough babbling, let's get started. So I have here a partially frozen turkey. I have not removed the bag yet because it's still partially frozen. Um, I kind of needed to make room in my freezer and fridge and so I'm using up veggies and I needed to move one of my turkeys out. So it's the whole turkey. Once it cooks, I am going, or like thaws out, I am going to take the bag out and also strip it of its meat and that's going to be used separately. And then the carcass will go back in and go for the remainder of the time. You could use the whole bird in this stock and it would be absolutely delicious, but I feel like that's kind of wasting all the meat that you could get off of this. So you could either, what I usually do is I uh, take all the meat off of the fresh raw turkey and then I throw, um, throw it in the pot and uh, make my stock and then can it, can it up. But since it's partially frozen, I can't do that. So that's why I'm doing it the way that I just described to you. Um, leave the neck. You want that in your pot. That's great flavor, great bone broth properties. So don't throw that away. If you do ever make a turkey, you want that neck bone in there. My secret ingredient, chicken wings or chicken licks. Just because you can get them manager special for two, three dollars for a huge pack, which is an amazing deal. Now, yes, you could of course eat these and uh, you could eat them and use the bones however you want to do it. My family will not eat chicken wings or chicken legs. So when I get them two, three dollars, I have no problem at all, and my conscience is clean, throwing them in my stock and using them that way. And it makes absolutely delicious chicken and turkey stock. That was a, an entire uh, bunch of celery that accidentally got frozen in the back of my fridge. So normally people would throw it away. It goes in here, wonderful flavor. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fresh bay leaves, throwing those in, also gives wonderful flavor. Parsley, this is just parsley that got lost in my fridge and it needs used. I'd already chopped it, I meant to use it for something, obviously. Who knows at this point? Holidays make us all crazy. Carrots, it adds color, it adds sweetness, and it makes it delicious. You do not have to um, la, 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 la. I want to say skin them, but that's not peel them. You don't have to peel them, just wash them. I have three onions. If the skins look good, you can leave the skins on. If the skins look bad, I take them off. Um, those in there, an entire bulb of garlic, and a trick on that so that you are not, where's my knife? So that you're not having 
to uh, take the skins off of all of those bulbs of garlic, which is a pain. This is what I do. Cut that big bulb in half and throw it in. That's all you gotta do. It will um, infuse all this stock and it will be beautiful. Okay, I'm also adding sea salt. Make sure whatever salt you use is not iodized. And then black pepper. And white wine. This is what's left. It's about a cup, I guess. Throw that in. That helps leach out the uh, nutrients in the bone and it also gives it a nice background flavor. Same with your apple cider vinegar. About a cup of that, you're not going to taste it. It's just, again, going to give it that extra oomph of flavor and help leach out nutrients. So now, fill it with filtered water. I like to use filtered because um, my water is gross. Alright, so here it is. Fill to the tippy top with all of our filtered water. I will put a lid on this, um, let it come up to a boil, and then take it down as low as it can go. Well, not, not as low as it can go, but super low to where it's like barely bubbling, barely a simmer. That way, you're not going to lose uh, liquid and you're not going to lose nutrients by letting it all cook too high. Um, and then I will let this go for, again, two to three days. Uh, really, depending on my schedule, will depend on how long it goes. Uh, I will end this video now. And again, um, I linked the videos to actually canning this. If you did want to can it, though, after the um, two to three days, strain off all the liquid and then can it up. Pints go for 20 minutes, quarts go for 25 at 10 pounds of pressure for my altitude. If you wanted meat in there, then you're going to have to go for the time of meat, which is uh, 75 minutes for pints and 90 minutes for quarts. But I'm just doing the liquid and I'm doing it in quarts. So I'll be doing 10 pounds of pressure for 25 minutes for my altitude. Make sure you check your altitude to make sure you're doing it at the right pressure, at the right time, you're not having to add any time. It's um, real important that you do your for your area. So I will leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everyone is enjoying the holiday season however you choose to celebrate it and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.